Heavy Metal Horns to Adrian Blanchard for coming in for this one because we're doing a band called Fit for an Autopsy. I think everyone is fit for an autopsy. Whether you like it or not, at the end of your lifetime, uh, everyone is fit for uh, an autopsy. Um, the, the morgue guy doesn't go, oh, this one's gone sour. That it's not fit for an autopsy. Get it out of here. Put it in a hefty bag and move it away. Right? So we're all pretty much fit for an autopsy, unless you're not down for that. You know, if you're like, I don't want you digging in there, digging around and stuff. Just just get to the burying bits or the, the cremating bits. Yeah, I just noticed here that they've got a brand, fit for an autopsy, you have a brand new single called Walk With Me In Hell. Uh, we are not doing that song for Adrian. We are doing a song called Tremors. He says, that's my favorite song from the band. You got to do that. So that's what we're doing right here for Adrian. We're going to learn about Fit for an Autopsy. I don't know that we've ever done any of this band. So we're going to get into the learning bits and then the listening bits. Sound fun? Let's do it. Fit for an Autopsy. They have 286,407 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Number one is uh, Far From Heaven. 2.6 million plays. The Sea of Tragic Beasts in the second spot, 6.3 million plays. Walk With Me in Hell, the brand new single, is 154,000 plays, so it's moving. It's working. Uh, number four slot, they got a song called Two Towers. Is that uh, the 9-11 uh, Towers, or is that the uh, Two Towers, uh, or Twin Towers, or whatever, from Lord of the Rings? That's got 1.4 million plays, and in the fifth slot, Pandora, 1.4 million plays. Uh, now we're going to look into them albums and see what they have uh, in that section, in that category. Cut, category. Uh, looks like they would have started some somewhere around the 2010s because you've got the process of human extermination. And that comes out in 2011. The beautiful artwork on these albums is just... Uh, it's just spellbinding. Uh, the song that we are doing Tremors from is from a record called Hellbound that came out in 2013, and that artwork is absolutely beautiful. Uh, you got 2015's Absolute Hope, Absolute Hell, uh, The Great Collapse uh, in 2017. Then there's a Great Collapse Rain City Deluxe version. When they, like I mentioned before, when they start doing deluxes, they go, we got some boys on the line here that are going to make us a lot of money. The Sea of Tragic Beasts, that's a great name for an album, 2019, and uh, Oh, What the Future Holds, 2022. And then they've got a brand new single out, so they might be having a record coming in 2023. What say you? You think so? Um, now what we're going to do is look into the related artists. This will tell us uh, who they might play shows with, playlists they might be on with other bands, other bands you might want to check out right after you get done here. The Last Ten Seconds of Life, I've heard of them. Aversion Crown, yes. Humanity's La Last Breath. I think we've done Humanity's Last Breath before on the channel. All Hell Followed With. Make Them Suffer. Uh, you've got Lorna Shore. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy-duty stuff. Slice the Cake. That's a pleasant enough name. You know they're going to be evil as all get out of town, all heavy. Slice the Cake. Uh, thy Art is Murder. We know those guys. Uh, Boris the Blade. That's interesting to me. Rings of Saturn. We have done them. They are out there. Uh, we've done them on the first listens. Fallujah. Still want to do some Felucia. We haven't done it. And King Conqueror. So that is the related artist for the band. Now we're going to get into that bio ever so quickly and then listen to the song. Uh, Tremors for Adrian. So you've got an image here. And oh my God, how many dudes are in this band? Six guys. And they're st they've blocked off the roadway. I'm trying to ride my bicycle home from work. And these six uh, crazed, crazy guys are standing there blocking me. They say, Shane, we want your wallet. And I say, well, I'll give it to you, but, uh, uh, you know, say, Shane, we don't want your wallet. We want your friendship. Can you give us a ride on your handlebars? I can only give one of you a ride on the handlebars. I can't give all six. The crushing music of Fit for an Autopsy is for any fan of extreme metal. It sounds, uh, its sound and fury is absolutely unflinching in purpose. In purpose? 
The band expertly blends excessive force-fueled death metal with atmospheric groove and impassioned personality diatribes reflecting back the dark uh, state of current events. Their fifth studio album, The Sea of Tragic Beasts, doesn't waste time with fantasy or cliche gore horror. Fit for an autopsy are metal guys, to be certain, but they grew up in the hardcore scene. They embrace the responsibility to put as much devoted purpose into their lyrics and message as they do into their dense, heady songs, forging a magnificent, powerful, new, post Deathcore. Now we got post Deathcore. I'm just trying to figure out Deathcore. Now we got post Deathcore. Oh my goodness. All right, we're heading down here to the Hellbound record. I just love that artwork, man. I think it's just uh, just a very intricate and very beautiful. And we're getting into the song for Adrian Tremor. Says it's his favorite. His or her favorite. Adrian! Who's that, Rocky? Rocky out there said, Anyways, let's do this right now. This is the Magic Titty takes us into the world of Fit for an Autopsy and their, uh, autopsy and their song, Tremors, from the album Hellbound. Ready? Let's do it now. Let's see what it's all about. Let's see what all the hubbub's about. Ooh. Sounds like a big room. That's got a darkness. That's what we're meant to be. Drummer's killing it. I get stuck. Those cards, court sounds are dark. It's just dark. Drummers, just the shit. Starting to to to, to dig death core, post death core.
He's so fucking sick of it. Yeah, I think when I, I I'm slowly starting to figure out these subgenres, all this dead in the dirt. Because I love bands like Aborted and stuff like that, and they're like technical death metal, and then you've got post deathcore and deathcore. Um, but here's what I'm starting to figure out is that like uh, what, what I would consider like, okay, if you took hardcore, hardcore music and you said, let's really metal tinge that up. Let's get the heavy metal into the hardcore. I would think that would be called the metalcore, but that's not what metalcore sounds like to me. It sounds almost like a uh, kind of a uh, a friendlier, almost funnier, almost soft, uh, softer kind of thing. If you put it, it, metalcore to me, almost sounds like hardcore meets hard rock, where deathcore sounds like what I would think metalcore would supposed to be sounding like. Does that make any sense? I love the metal and the hardcore when they come together, and that's where you have that death core sound. Does that make any sense? I don't know if it makes any sense at all. See, I'm an older gentleman, so I come back from a time where it's like hard rock, heavy metal, black metal, punk, hardcore, skate punk, speed metal, but now it's, no, it's a speed core punk, hard rock, metal core. And that's what that is. It's in the, you're, you're saying the right, see, because sometimes people get on me about categories. That's a, dude, that's not the genre. That's not the shot. It's like, dude, I'm just trying to figure shit out here. I'm learning. That's what we do. It's a learning experience. It's a learning channel. This would be on the TLC, the learning channel. Uh, but what say you? I'd love for you to get in the comments below and tell me that was a bone barn burner. That was a bone banger. That was a bone saw, bone cutter. Uh, so get in the comments and tell me what you think. Good, great, fantastic. Yes, Shane, I'm a huge fan of Fit for an Autopsy. What albums should I check out? What is your all-time favorite album? You say, hands down, from beginning to end, this is the record for you, Shane. This is the one you want to listen to. Uh, all-time favorite songs from this band. Is that a pretty accurate top five, would you say? Those are the, the big bangers for the band. Uh, have you ever seen this band live, and what is that experience like? Do you leave without wounds? Uh, do you get in the mosh pit, or do you stand back by the pretzel stand? That would be my question. Uh, do they have a drinking uh, uh, balcony? Uh, would be my next question. Um, all-time favorite album, all-time favorite songs, and tell me what that experience seeing them live and who they might have played shows with. Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, that shit drove me crazy. It was absolutely, it, it's absolute insanity. Clearly, you can tell all of those dudes know what they're doing, all six of them. They can stand there proud and loud and, and block off an entire alley like that of, 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 of people trying to ride their bicycles past because they're that good. Uh, they're all talented dudes. I just don't know why they're playing that kind of music because it's, it's crazy and it's uh, angry and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's violent. It's good, friendly, violent fun. It's not my cup of tea. Don't want it. Don't need it. I'm out here. All of that can be put in the comments below. Don't you know, Adrian, there is your thumbs. Uh, if you have a hard rock and heavy metal special request, you'd like to see it on the channel, it's a very simple and easy thing to do. Hit one of them links in the description below, and we will get it on for you in your honor with thumbs the to you. Or you can always put it in the comments. You put it in the comments and see it. I like it. We haven't done it on the channel yet. I'll hit it with the heart tell you I'm going to do your request, okay? Fit for an autopsy.